Hey, Song Town. I'm Clay Mills here with my co-host, Marty Dotson. Welcome. Let's talk about something that I see a lot on social media and songwriting groups like in Facebook. And people are saying, well, I only write songs when I'm inspired. Otherwise, it's just going to be crap. It's going to be forced. So the best songs happen only when you're inspired and you shouldn't like waste your time trying to sit down every day and write. So what are your thoughts? <laughs> well, if I did that, I would be very poor. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, I mean, I think if if you're wanting to do it just for fun, then sure, write, just write whenever you feel it. You know, if you're trying to make a career out of it, though, you know, lawyers can't go in and go, hey, I'm just not feeling like lawyering today. You know, they have to learn how to do it anyway. You know? Yeah, I mean, but being creative is not like being a lawyer. You saying lawyers are not creative? <laughs> well, we have lawyers in our audience. <laughs> My apologies. Yes, it's creative in a different way. Right. You can still be very creative. You can. And a trial lawyer could be like performance art. In a yeah. Way. yeah. Yeah. It's all connected. So retract that, Clay. <laughs> I retract my statement. <laughs> yeah. I love everybody. But no, my point being, whatever job you have, you can't go in on days and just go, hey, I'm not feeling it, you know, <laughs> checking out. Yeah. So I think you have to learn how to inspire yourself instead of waiting on inspiration to come. Um, we sometimes joke, you know, the muse works for us, not the other way around, you know. So we're not yeah. waiting on the muse to show up. I have learned Make ways. Make that muse your boy. That's right. <laughs> I didn't know where you were going. With that. Um, yeah, I mean, I have to clean it up. I have found that if I, you know, wake up early, if I go for a long walk or exercise, I get my coffee, I eat a healthy breakfast, and then I get to my computer thirty minutes or more before my co-write, and I can look through ideas and kind of prepare myself mentally. I can find things that inspire me. You know, I've I've done things to take care of myself. I'm uh, getting my brain in the right frame of mind to write. I'm finding some ideas like, oh, yeah, I remember when I found that idea. Um, I, this might be the perfect day to write that. And that gets yeah. me excited. It gets me inspired, you know. And I have I had an artist one time come to me and say, man, me and the boys on the in the band wrote this song on the bus in 15 minutes. It just, like, came to us. And he played me this song, and I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. It was inspired, but it, it was wasn't in, a good song. <laughs> it was inspired, but it was not a good song, you know? Yeah. So I I think we sometimes mistake, um, this just came to me, to being, it must be great. Right. Because it just came to me, you know? And so I encouraged him to work on it a little, you know, apply a little craft to that inspiration and see if he could turn it into something even a little better. Well, know? the craft is a good point because... I think if you do sit down on a regular basis, first of all, they say if you sit down every day at the same time, now I know a lot of us can't do that, but if you can do that, find time the same time every day that your brain becomes better. It knows you're going to be writing that time every day. It prepares itself subconsciously and you will write better. You'll feel more creative. So sitting down every day, a little bit every day is going to get your brain functioning better on the creative level. But by writing every day, you're also, it's like a muscle, you know, mm -hmm. you're building up your ability to be a better writer so that when you get the inspiration, you'll know how to write it in the best way possible. Yeah. The worst thing you can do is have this great idea and this great inspiration and then get stuck because you haven't done any work on your craft. You know, you haven't done any work on knowing how to get unstuck when you get stuck. And there's a funny quote. Um, Stephen King was like, they asked him, well, how do you overcome writer's block? And he's like, writer's block is for amateurs. Mm -hmm. A professional doesn't have time for writer's block, you know? Mm -hmm. And it, I think that's the same way a professional doesn't have time to only write when you have inspiration. You, it's impossible. If I'm sitting down to write with Darius Rucker tomorrow, and I show up and I go, eh, I'm not inspired today. Well, why don't we just get some barbecue? I'm not going to have a career very long. Right. You know, my job is to show up, have ideas, feel inspired, um, and, and kind of get in the mood for that. 
Jack Timpshin, who wrote a bunch of Peaceful, Easy Feeling, Already Gone, all these classic rock songs. Well, Jack was telling me that he and Glenn Fry get together and write. And he said, we'd show up, we light a candle, and we invite the muse to join us. Yeah, you I know, love that. We're going to write this song with or without her, but she ends up showing up, you know. My first poster, somebody asked him one time, like, what's the secret? And he said, put your butt in that chair every day. And, and his point was, show up. You know, even when you're not feeling like it, show up. And there's been so many times in my career when something I'm not feeling good and I'm not feeling inspired and I don't feel like my ideas are great and I show up and someone comes in with something that's brilliant and all of a sudden I'm inspired, the whole room's inspired, you know, so it's not just up to me and what I'm feeling if I'm working with other people, you know, yeah. and I've or known, how many times have you just felt dead tired and you're like, oh, too tired. I don't want to write today. Somebody throws out a great line in the room and instantly you have all the energy that you could ever want. Yeah. Like that great idea gets you so excited. And even if you're not writing with someone else, just sitting there by yourself going through the motions and then you come up, you're playing a melody and go, oh, that was cool. What was that? Mm -hmm. You know, and then the next thing you know, three or four hours later, you forgot to eat and you're yeah. sitting there and you've got a completed song. Exactly. You know, I've known people who, a um, couple of instances, oddly enough, where um, they let their um, license plate expire on their car. Mm -hmm. And so they canceled a writing appointment the, the next day to go take care of that, you know. And the song that was written that day <laughs> became a number one song. <laughs> I've known of at least two times of that happening. And it's, that goes back to that, put your butt in the chair, you know, it's like, you got to be present to win, you know, and so showing up every day is half the battle, I think, you know, yeah. and, and you will learn how to get yourself inspired. One thing I try to do too, is I want to go in every day and try to inspire the other people in the room, you know, so even if I'm not feeling it, I go, oh, Jason Duke's going to love this idea. You know, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about seeing his reaction to it when I throw it out and that kind of stuff, even though I'm tired and maybe not feeling it. But you just learn ways to, to get yourself inspired, I think. Yeah. And this idea of like, well, you can only write a song when you, you've got this tremendous burst of inspiration. For me, songwriting is like breathing. I can write songs any time of day or night. I, I, you know, I don't have to be inspired to breathe. I am a mm -hmm. songwriter. I'm sure many of you out there know what I'm talking about. You're a songwriter. You don't have to wait to be a songwriter. Mm -hmm. You sit down and write. It's it's what you do, yeah. you know? So back to the Stephen King quote from a while ago, we can paralyze ourselves if we're judging what we're doing along the way, you know? And I think that's where lack of inspiration comes in a lot of times. It's like, what we're really saying is like, I'm not sure this is great. And there's yeah. a lot to be said for writing it anyway, you know? You write it, and you can come back to it. You can make it better, and and then later you can decide if it's great or not. Maybe you need to throw it out, or maybe you just weren't feeling it that day, and you can turn it into something great. So there's a lot to be said for just starting. Yeah, and my first big song I ever got recorded, we wrote all morning, wrote all afternoon, didn't like what we came up with, and it was almost time to quit. It was like, we were going to go to five o'clock and, mm -hmm. you know, and it was like 430. And all of a sudden somebody threw out a line that we were like, oh, my gosh, we should write that. Mm -hmm. And so we write another whole song. It took us like an hour to write this amazing song. But if we had not worked all day to get up to that point where we were all in sync and all folk, you know, focused, I don't think we would have had that song. And it was our first big cut. You know? So you were in in sync. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my first number one happened similarly. That we had been um, writing all day, one day, a long day on a so song idea. Didn't finish it, so we scheduled another day. We get back together. Lunchtime comes. We still haven't made any progress, so we go to lunch. And on the way back, Jason Matthews said, "Do you like that thing we're writing?" And I said. No, but I thought you really liked it. And he's like, I don't like it. So we just threw it away. And he said, let's write something people can make out to. And we did. And it became a number one song, you know. 
And so that's an example of just, if you're not feeling it, you can trash it and you could do something different, you know, find something that does excite you. Awesome. So there's your tips for the day. Hey, thanks, Sweetwater. They're a great sponsor. We love them, but not just that. I bought my gear from Sweetwater for many, many years, even before I knew any of those guys over there. Great people. So if you're looking for gear, check out Sweetwater.com. Check out Songtown.com. We have a tremendous worldwide community, thousands of songwriters around the world working together, supporting each other, and all doing this crazy trip called songwriting. And Sweetwater sends you candy when you order from them. We don't, but we still love you. Uh, we'd love if you give us a review. If you like the podcast, it really helps us if you give us a review, especially the five-star ones. Those are our favorites. Yeah. Um, check out the show notes for books, links to Songtown, all kinds of things, and we'll see you soon. Cheers. <laughs>